It's election week in America, and there's a lot we don't know, but there is a lot we do know. We have a God who is never, ever going to step off the throne, a God who says, I will never leave you or forsake you, and I will love you unconditionally and forever. Those are the things we can hang on to, right? Welcome to Faith Filter. I'm Erica with Pastor Jesse Bradley from Grace Community Church in Auburn, Washington. Pastor Jesse, always good to be with you and to talk about these things. What would you say to someone who is feeling a little anxious about the election this week? I think we all sense the tension. Yeah. Sometimes it's in conversations with family and friends. Sometimes we notice there's division or even hateful words. And all of this can stir up anxiety. Every day, we have the temptation to be anxious, and yet God says over 365 times, do not be anxious, <laughs> like one for every day in Scripture. And we need to hear it. Part of God's ministry in our lives in the Holy Spirit speaking to us is guiding us to the Word and then reassuring us, reminding us of God's truth. And the reason we're not anxious is because Jesus is present, Jesus is in control, God is sovereign, and God rules and reigns. He's over presidents, military, government, and we know how the story ends when we look at Scripture. So we have God's perspective when we pray. We give God thanks, and we also give God our burdens. Give God those two things. Continue to thank God so you don't overfocus on the problems, yes. and then continue to give your burdens to God. Let God do the heavy lifting, because Jesus declared clearly, come to me, all you who are weary, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's the rest we need. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And even in the storm, the disciples forgot. Jesus is still here. Jesus is still in control. And Jesus had to rebuke them. And sometimes we need that rebuke. Like, <laughs> hey, snap out of it. You're not made for this. And we want to, because of God's presence, also receive his peace. Amen. I just feel like there is so much that we can know for sure. Like I take great comfort in Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. This means that we can be at peace no matter what, right? It means that our mission also doesn't change, Erica. And when there's change happening, it's important to notice what does change and what doesn't change. The scripture doesn't change. Like you said, Jesus doesn't change. And our calling to love our neighbors, to be the light of the world, will not change at all, no matter who wins any political election. Yeah. And we need to keep that perspective. Our ultimate hope is not in politics or in a politician or even the laws of the land. Now, it's important we're active. We're praying for all of our leaders. We are voting, right? We're discerning. We understand the times. We know Scripture. We want the laws of the land to honor God. Yet it's going to be the love of God that changes human hearts. So we want to approach things from a biblical perspective, not just blown about the wind and the waves and the next rant and opinion. We come back to what's solid. Jesus is our rock, and that makes all the difference. And when you abide with Jesus, your house will be like a house on the rock yes. and not the sand. Mm. There's a lot of people who feel like they're sinking right now. They feel like mm -hmm. the ground's not stable. Well, we are Secure in Jesus' hand, no one can separate us from his love, and God will not forsake us. Mm -hmm. God will keep all of his promises. And that right there is an anchor for the soul. That's why we have hope that's greater than our circumstances or our challenges. That's why we're grateful for our country right now. We can still gather in churches. We can pray anywhere. We can share our faith. Yeah. There are incredible freedoms that we want to protect and enjoy and live for Jesus uh, right now in 2024. Like this is time not to be sleepy or discouraged or retreat to the cave. Like this is a time and the darker things get, you know, a little bit of light goes a long way. That's Amen. the good news. When, when things are light, you might not notice a little more light, but when things are dark, a little bit of light stands out. And Jesus said it so clearly, don't put your light under a bowl right now. Shine the light so that people will know your Father's good, and they will praise God. They won't give you all the glory and the credit, but they'll know. They'll see a difference in you. They'll see Jesus in you. And I go back to the book of Acts. That's what made them stand out. They were courageous. They weren't anxious. Why? Because they had been with Jesus. Mm. And whenever you're starting to feel anxious and you feel scared, let that be your reminder, your cue, okay, I need to go deeper with Jesus. I need to be with Jesus. 
And that's going to be the path forward. Be with Jesus, and our mission isn't going to change. Let's make disciples, which means help people know Jesus, help people grow in their faith. If we do that, where we live, work, learn, or play, we're going to see healing and transformation in the land and in our homes as well. Oh, Pastor Jesse, thank you so much for reminding us that Jesus is still on the throne. He hasn't left the building. We appreciate you so much. Let's keep trusting him together, Erica. Appreciate all you do to encourage people around the sound. And uh, you're just consistent with bringing hope. And that's what we need today. So let's stick with biblical Christianity, not cultural Christianity. And we have our eyes on Jesus, not the storm. Team Hope. Thank you, Pastor Jesse.